Hello, welcome, human rights activists. Today's topic, we're going to discuss on pressure groups and human rights activists. Pressure groups and human rights activists. First, let's see the meaning of pressure groups. A pressure group is a social organization which tries to influence the government policies that affect the interests of its members. So they affect the policies of government which affect the interests of their members. Now, we're looking at the types of pressure groups. We have the Nigerian Labor Congress, the NLC. We have Nigerian Union of Teachers, NUT, Farmers Union, Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, then Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. Human rights activists. Who are they? Let's listen to Oluchi's story, okay? Oluchi woke up one morning to go to school, as always. As she got ready to leave her house, her mother told her that she was to stop going to school and to start selling in the market. Oluchi was very upset and refused to sell the goods. She wanted to go to school. Her parents then told her that if she did not become a hawker, they would throw her out of the house. She still refused and gone thrown out of the house. Okay. Now, using the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, work out which of Oluchi's rights that have been violated. Which rights of Oluchi has been violated? Okay, so in the course of this lesson, you will get to understand. Human rights activists. Is human rights activists. Human rights activists. Who are human rights activists? The image before you is that of Ken Sarowiwa. He was a human rights activist. Why or the reasons why human rights activists are important in the society? So we shall look at the reasons why human rights activists are important in the society. And who was Ken Sarowiwa? First, let's see the meaning of human rights. Human rights are those basic rights and freedom that belong to every person in the world from birth until death. So human rights are the basic rights and freedom that belong to every person in the world from birth until death. That's the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations Organization after the World War. Now, who is an activist? An activist is a person who campaigns or seeks to bring about political or social change. An activist is a person who campaigns or seeks to bring about political or social change. So every human has rights. Nigerian prominent human rights activist. So the first one is Ken Sarowiwa, who lost his life in the struggle. The first image by the left is that of Ken Sarowiwa. Who was Ken Sarowiwa? Ken Sarowiwa was a human rights activist, he was a writer, and he was the founder for the survival of the Ogoni people. He was born in River State in 1941. He spoke out forcefully against military regime and the Shell Petroleum Company that were causing environmental damage to the land of the Ogoni people. Now, after the death of four Ogoni chiefs at a rally he organized to protest against this evil act of the Shell Company and the military regime, he was actually tried by a special tribunal and found guilty, and he was charged for complying with the murder of the four Ogoni chiefs. So he was executed by hanging along with the eight fellow activists. So this arose international condemnation against Nigeria and it led to sanctions against our country Nigeria by international community. So Ken Sarowiwa died in this struggle because they believed, the government believed that those four chiefs that died during the course of his rally, that he was the masterminder of the rally, so he was killed by hanging due to the execution or the judgment given by um, 
a special tribunal. So he died by hanging along with other eight human rights activists. That was really painful. So Ken Sarowiwa is one of Nigeria's prominent human rights activists. The second one is Margaret Ekpo. Margaret Ekpo was born in Calabar, but she fought against the extortion from the Aba women, Aba women traders. So she was the one that masterminded the Aba women riots. Fuminayo Ransom Kuti, she fought against the uh, uh, injustice meted to humans. So she fought against uh, human rights abuse. Waliso Inka was a uh, literature neurite, so he too, with his uh, literary works, fought against human rights abuse. Ganifa Emil, he's late now, he's a lawyer, he fought against human rights abuse in Nigeria. So the first image by the left is that of Ken Sarowiwa, and the second one was that of Ganifa Emil. The one below is Omore Sorunole. He is the founder of Sawahara Reporters. He is the man behind Revolution Night in Nigeria. He is an activist and was arrested some few months by the federal government of Nigeria. He was charged for treason that he wants to topple the government. Then the woman there. These are all Nigerian prominent human rights activists. Let's look at some world human rights activists. First, we have Nelson Mandela. He fought for appetite. That's discrimination against the black in South Africa. Then Martin Luther King Jr., he too fought against racism, discrimination against the blacks in the United States of America. Mahatma Gandhi, these were all world human rights activists. Now, let's see the meaning of citizens. Okay, now we have discussed um, the 10 year old Oluchi and what the parents did to her it was really bad so what were those rights the universal declaration of human rights they were rights of all that have been violated so let's look at some human rights first the right to life right to freedom of speech rights to freedom from torture no one have the right to torture anybody so we all have rights to freedom from torture we have the right to free speech to speak our minds at all times. We have the right to live. We have the right to life. We have the right to education. So all of these rights to education have been violated. All of these rights to life have been violated. We have rights to liberty. So rights to life, right to free speech, right to freedom from torture, right to education, right to liberty. These are the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and these are the rights of every Nigerian citizen. Now, we have rights to privacy, rights to employment, rights to be treated fairly, right to be treated fairly at all times, rights to enough food, clothing, housing, and health care for ourselves and our families. Then we have cultural rights. We have the right to belong to any culture that we want to belong to. So these are all the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations Organization. Okay, now, citizenship and naturalization. Every citizen have rights. So these rights, they are the things that, they are not privileges. We all have it. We all have this right. So who is a citizen? A citizen is someone who legally comes from a country. But citizenship, citizenship is that legal status that legal status of being a citizen of a country legal status of being a citizen of a country then naturalization legal act or process by which a non-citizen of a country may acquire citizenship or nationality of that country so the image before you you can see non-nigerians becoming nigerian citizen through naturalization huh. So that is meaning of citizenship and naturalization. Becoming a Nigerian citizen. A person can become a Nigerian citizen through the following means. First, by birth. By birth. By registration. 
by naturalization. So by birth, the parents of the person must be citizens of Nigeria by registration and by naturalization. So these are the types of citizenship in Nigeria. Duties of a Nigerian citizen. First, obeying law and order. A Nigerian citizen has the responsibilities of obeying law and order. Another responsibility is paying of taxes, voting during elections, helping to prevent crimes, and being patriotic. So a good Nigerian citizen must obey law and order, must be law-abiding, pay taxes to the government. A tax is a portion of our salary that is being paid to the government to help in providing roads, good schools, good hospitals. Voting during elections. Before you, a, a good Nigerian citizen must vote during elections, but only adults of 18 years and above can vote. And helping to prevent crimes, then being patriotic, a good Nigerian citizen must be patriotic, must love its country, and will be proud of its country. The Nigerian Immigration Service is the organ of government responsible for citizenship registration in Nigeria. So the organ of government responsible for citizenship registration in Nigeria is the Nigerian Immigration Service. This is their logo, the NIS. What are their duties? The duties of the Nigerian Immigration Service. First, issuing Nigerian passports to non-citizens. You can see the image of Nigerian passport. This is what they issue to non-citizens of Nigeria. Issuing visa permits to non-citizens, investigating human trafficking and smuggling of illegal immigrants. So they investigate human trafficking when people are being moved for slave work to other countries or into our country, they investigate it. And the smuggle, smuggling of illegal immigrants, people who are non-Nigerians, when they come in illegally, it is the duty of the Nigerian Immigration Service to check on them. Thank you for watching this video. Now from this lesson, I hope you have seen the reason why human rights activists are important in our society. You have seen how Ken Sarowiwa fought against the military regime and the environmental pollution done by the Shell Company in the Ogoni land. But unfortunately, he lost his life in the course of fighting for justice. But from then on, the Ogoni people have actually found some succor from the government as regards the cleaning up of Ogoni land. Please try to do your assignment on exercise 17. Ensure to upload your video assignments too. And thank you for your time and be good.